morning dear students so welcome to ms word now i think all of you are familiar or you have studied in the last year like how to work with ms word now this ms word it is a word processor what processor means like you want you enter your name you enter your address father's name and you want to decorate it like suppose you want to create a project on any subject so if you want to make it through the computer then i have to take the help of ms word for the creation of the project and later will take a print out now ms word has a applications many 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 it is used everywhere in either in the school college office bank every place we find the use of ms word now so now we are to, today we are going to study about ms word now first of all we should know how to start ms word so there are two ways we can start first is as it is shown in the slide we have to click on the start button go to microsoft office then the drop down menu will appear from the drop down menu you will have so many different options will be there like ms access ms excel so many so those are the different uh, um, types or the different components of ms office but we are interested only with ms word so we'll directly will go and click on microsoft word 2010 now if you click on this after few seconds the ms word icon will appear on your screen or the ms word window will appear on your screen this is the one of the way another way is you just simply double click the ms word icon present on the desktop then also the ms word icon will appear on the screen okay then we'll see how what are the different parts of it now dear students if you open ms word you will see the ms word the ms word window will appear like this so at the top you have the title bar by default the name will be coming as document one followed by menu bar followed by menu bar then we have the ribbon under the ribbon we have the different options are there different menus are there which helps us to do the work now if you if you observe it very carefully now you see at the top light blue color bar so with the, the different options or the different tabs in the menu bar are like file home insert page layout references mailings review view so these are the different options present in the second bar that is known as the menu bar and the red highlighted one is known as the title bar and below that full icons full of icons from left side to starting with paste to extreme right hand we have the find replace select so this whole group comes under ribbon under this we have the different groups are there like clipboard font paragraph styles spacing then on the top top and left we have the ruler the rulers are there to set the margin then on the right side as well as at the bottom we have the scroll bar to move the page up and down based upon that we can do the work now dear students if you open ms word you will see the ms word
dear students so now we are going to start with chapter 3 the name is tools of word processor now so here it is being discussed in the first paragraph the various uses or the various features of ms word like we have all this like what helps in storing formatting or manipulating the text such as letters reports and we have various features like selecting copying moving deleting and printing the text these are the these are the various features of ms word and this uh, ms word is a part of microsoft office developed by microsoft corporation as as you know the famous person behind this is the bill gates so bill gates is the owner of this company microsoft corporation and us based company now so we'll see what are the different uses of ms word like produce letters reports notice newsletters books bills etc quickly in a presentable manner modify the text then uh, we can insert graphics pictures resins copy and move the text from one so copy paste features are there we can have the preview option preview option before taking a printer so starting microsoft word so as usual as i've shown earlier like you have to click on the start button all programs microsoft office ms word opens and by default and by default the name is document one now if you open ms word now the ms word window will appear on the screen in the one uh, in the window we have the different components which are important like file tab quick access toolbar title bar please pay attention the arrow mark which area it is being marked then uh, we have the ribbon, minimize button, maximize button, close button, cursor, status bar and in the middle that white area where the students can write. That area is known as the document area. So you should be very much, very much familiar with the components in order to work. Now, after, after the viewing the window, we have to click or suppose you want to start your project or you want to start or you want to write an application so first we have to click the file menu if you click the file menu a drop down menu will appear then you have to select new and new under new will have the different options are there like blank document uh, and many many are there available templates but we'll be selecting the blank document and the white screen will appear on the screen where you can start typing now in the now in page 26 so we have the different uh, figures are there how and the steps are written like how to save a document the steps for saving a document as well as the shortcut key that is control plus s and the four steps are there how we can save a document next is coming as closing a document suppose you have finished your work you want to close the document not ms word so we'll click on the file tab close the word will disappear but the ms word will remain open and the shortcut key is control plus w then the next is coming as suppose opening a document opening an document means an existing document you want to open it suppose incomplete work was there you want to open it so we'll select the file tab open then the drop down menu will appear from then open dialog box select the file name and finally click on open rule we give the term as editing now 
in page 27. Good morning, in dear students. You see so, at the top, welcome to MS Word. Now, I think all of you are familiar well in the or you have studied in the last well year well how to work with MS Word. Now, this word, MS Word, it is a word processor. Word processor means like you, un anywhere, you enter your so name. To, to, select, to select a paragraph and you, you want to click to on that paragraph like suppose then you to want select to a large a block of text on any subject click so at the beginning of the text it press the, the shift key and without releasing it at the end of the text word just you drag the, the creation and we want project. to select we'll the whole document now one shortcut key is there control plus applications otherwise we have to do it the is used every click in either in the school college office bank next is place we find uh, the topic is coming as inserting the now, text so now Microsoft we allows today we the are user going to, to add new text MS to an already First existing all, text. Which we means that how suppose you made a mistake, MS you left word. out a word in So the there are two ways now, how to add that this word. As it may be a e word, we have any to click word on you want. Start button. Maybe I forgot. Go to Microsoft so Office. The main thing is what first I will place the cursor. From the drop down, the word menu, was missing. You will have place the so word. Many different options. And place the media, cursor like there. Access, and uh, and then start. So, many, so those are the, the existing uh, text present after the cursor will start shifting towards the right side. Right side and the text. But we are interested only with the next topic is coming as moving. We'll directly will go. And the text click means on Microsoft Suppose Word 2000. You text. want to cut now. And paste if it. you click on this yes. from the After original few place, seconds, it will the MS disappear. Word icon will. So that is known as on moving. Your now, in order to do the moving, the so window window there are certain steps are there. Screen. Select this the desired the text the and click on the Another cut button. Is you just in the clipboard group at the top icon under the home tab. Then also or in the, the ribbon area you will find the bring the pointer okay. to the desired then location see and click on the paste button. How what are the different so parts? It will it. be removed and placed in a new position. Or there is a shortcut key is control plus X and control plus V. And or or through the help of the menu option, cut menu, then you take the cursor in a desired position and you place the cursor and finally click the paste option so there are three ways or, or we can say there are two ways how we can say or we can perform the operation of moving the text and on the right side you see quick view options are there quick view say three types are there so where you see those uh, bold letters those are the shortcut keys which are very important from the exam point of view Next operation will see copying and pasting the text. In case of copying and pasting the, the difference with the moving is in case of moving the text the, it will be removed from the original place but in case of copying means in a duplicate place or in a, or in a new place it will be created once more means in both the places the same uh, lines or same paragraph will be present so it can be done in three ways say three dots are there dear students see three dots are there using copy and paste button in the clipboard group which is present at the top in the ribbon area or by using the shortcut keys like control plus c and control plus v combination or using the copy and paste option from the context menu as as it was given in the previous one like uh, in the third case so you have to select the text then uh, select the copy option it will the text will get copied then you go to a new desired location place the cursor and finally click the paste option so in two places the same text will be uh, same text will be present now the next part we see as a to delete the text so deleting a text is very simple so first we'll select the text so that is step one step two press the delete key and step three the selected text will be removed or by using delete key or sometimes we can use the backspace key also to do the operation of delete now dear students see in page number 29 there are two very useful commands are there that is undo and redo now this undo 
the shortcut key is control plus z and redo it is control plus y now the function of undo means this option reverses the effect of the last command means to reverse one or more than one action click undo button it means that I want to go few steps back so if you want to go few steps back the function is or the option is undo button and redo means it is the opposite of undo so to reverse the action of the undo command so the um, shortcut key is control plus y now in the last part we have the option of uh, checking spelling and grammar now checking spelling and grammar i think all of you have, uh, have experienced that if you make spelling mistake in ms word it is underlined by red wavy lines so red wavy lines means you have made a spelling mistake because in ms word or in ms office at the background uh, dictionary is working so if it is not a english word it will show a red wavy lines so in order to correct it so a right click on that red uh, underline wavy words options will appear then from there you select the correct word and at the last you have these options of faces so which which uh, help us to show the list of synonyms and the antonyms of the words which are also very So now we will uh, discuss the fill in the blanks. So first fill in the blanks answer is selection area, second clipboard, third control plus O, fourth control plus A, fifth red wavy lines, sixth spacers. Now for the true and false, so first one is false, second one true, third one true, fourth one false, fifth one false. Match the following, you can see. An application based question, first one is checking spelling and grammar. page so, second answer is press delete key press press uh, delete key now regarding the multi choice question first answer is document second is red wavy lines third one control plus w fourth one is control plus z the next one answer in one word or one sentence Control plus S, first one. Uh, second one is uh, quick access toolbar. Okay, so these are the two answers. Then uh, comes as answer the following. So first answer is given in page number 24. Second answer, it is given in page 26 and 27. And the last one is given in page 30. Okay. So now we come to the end of this chapter. So this question answers and the objectives given in page number 31 and 32. All of you make sure you write it in your computer copy as well as the from chapter 1 and chapter 2 also of, of computer. Thank you.
so we come to the end of the today's session thank you